Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panerski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great day so far. We are experiencing just a couple of different flurries, snowfall here in the Grand Rapids area. But over towards the lakeshore, they are getting pummeled a little bit more than we are here, a little bit more inland. That's why we have sent meteorologist Blake Harms out to investigate and tell us everything that he's got going on. He's out in Paw Paw right now. Blake, great to have you back on the Live Desk. Obviously, uh, glad to see that you're in a car and staying warm. What's it kind of like out there right now? Yeah, so Phil, we are in Paw Paw right along I-94, and this is a stretch of highway that notoriously sees crashes when we have lake effect snow like this. Uh, we were over toward Texas Charter Township uh, between Matawan and Kalamazoo, where the highway remains closed. Eastbound was closed for several hours due to multiple crashes. Uh, so we're doing okay here in Paw Paw for now, a bit of a lull in the snowfall activity, but we are in the heart of the winter storm warning, uh, so we're expecting more snow into this evening. Mm -hmm. Right now and uh, just you know your initial thoughts I mean was this sort of kind of what you guys were expecting to happen over the next couple of days has anything kind of surprised you about the amount of snow that this area has seen? Yeah well that area that we were in where the crashes happened uh, had a significant amount of snow I, I mean at least three or four inches by noon so that part was a little surprising um, it's relaxed a little bit again we're in a bit of a law where we had snow falling across much of the area this morning now we're getting a bit of a break, and then as we head into this evening, the snow is going to pick back up, and we're already seeing some evidence of that. So, so far, forecast playing out about as expected. Uh, certainly here in Van Buren County, that's where we expect the most impacts from snow through tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Blake, you know, you sent over a couple of graphics that we're going to put up on the screen right now. I know you can't really see them, but you know them probably better than anybody else right now. We're looking at the winter uh, alerts right now. Really, yeah. just that whole western side of the state is in a color right now. Yeah, that's right. We have a winter storm warning that remains in effect for Allegan, Van Buren, Berrien, and Cass counties. That's until 4 a.m. tomorrow. And then we also have a winter weather advisory for the rest of the lakeshore, plus Kalamazoo and St. Joseph counties. That also runs until 4 a.m. Areas uh, in the winter storm warning certainly uh, going to be the most impacted through tonight. As you look at the, the traffic graphic there, uh, it kind of shows you what we expect for this evening commute and for tomorrow morning. I-94 is going to continue to remain hazardous, especially after sunset tonight, which is coming up in under two hours. I think at that point, roads will turn uh, much more slick for the most part today, unless we've been under heavy snow, they've remained wet. That will be changing. And so I-94 west of Kalamazoo and I-196 west of Hudsonville, those are the two stretches of highway that we expect to be most hazardous tonight. And some poor conditions could last into tomorrow morning. Reason being, we expect snowfall totals in those areas to be on the order of four to eight inches. Some spots may even see a bit more. Uh, other areas that are included in that winter weather advisory can expect generally two to four inches. A lot of the snow has already fallen for some of those areas. Uh, and then inland locations have seen just about all the snow they're going to see today uh, with the tapering off for places like Grand Rapids, Ionia, Greenville here as we head through the next several hours. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're going to leave that snowfall forecast up just a little bit longer, Blake. I mean, uh, really kind of good timing, I would say, with something like this. Obviously, uh, some people maybe have already left for the holiday vacation. They Maybe they are on the road and maybe dealing with this right now. And uh, our prayers and thoughts definitely go out to them. But for people that are planning on leaving, uh, December 23rd is expected to be one of the busiest travel days uh, for the holiday season. I mean, we're, we're, we're looking pretty good as far as that not being impacted by any of the snow. This should be gone by then, correct? That's right, yeah. And, and when you compare to what we were dealing with last December 23rd mm -hmm. in the middle of the blizzard. I could never uh, forget, week, Blake. <laughs> how could any of us, right? That will be pretty easy to take later this week. So um, I, a lot of the snow that's falling is going to melt through over the next few days as the temperatures climb back up into the 40s and it looks pretty warm right on through Christmas. So uh, all this snow is going to be for naught, going to melt here in the next few days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. Want everybody to make sure that they stay safe out there. It looks like today is going to be the last of uh, the snow and really tumultuous uh, commutes we will probably see leading up into the holiday break. Uh, holiday break, excuse me. Blake, thank you so much for stopping by today. Obviously, we want you to stay safe as well. And uh, yeah, no, we look forward to talking to you again later on this week. As we get closer to those holiday travel plans, we'll be sure to give everybody everything they need to know regarding best days to travel, what the weather's going to be like, all that good stuff. So that'll be coming up later in the week with Blake. Uh, but for now, Blake, you know, uh, we're coming up on the four o'clock newscast. We know you got to go, so we'll let you go out there. And uh, yeah, no, definitely stay warm while you're out there. We'll do our best, Phil. It's hard on days like today with the wind chill in the teens, but mm -hmm. we're going to try our best. Right. I, I'm sure it looks pretty out there, though. 
It is. It's scenic, yes, but that's about all it has going for it. <laughs> right, 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 absolutely. All right, well, Blake, we'll see you coming up in just a little bit, and I want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Pinarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.